Alcohol-Related Dementia, Wikipedia Article Audio Alcohol-Related Dementia is a form of dementia caused by long-term, excessive consumption of alcoholic beverages, resulting in neurological damage and impaired cognitive function. Alcohol-Related Dementia is a broad term currently preferred among medical professionals. Many experts use the terms alcohol dementia to describe a specific form of ARD, characterized by impaired executive function. Another form of ARD is known as wet brain, characterized by short-term memory loss and thiamine deficiency. ARD patients often have symptoms of both forms, i.e. impaired ability to plan, apathy, and memory loss. ARD may occur with other forms of dementia. The diagnosis of ARD is widely recognized but rarely applied, due to a lack of specific diagnostic criteria. Terminology Signs and Symptoms On many non-medical websites, the terms wet brain and alcohol-related dementia are often used interchangeably, creating significant confusion. Additionally, the term alcohol-induced persistent dementia is another nonspecific name that is sometimes used. Alcohol-related dementia presents as a global deterioration in intellectual function with memory not being specifically affected, but it may occur with other forms of dementia, resulting in a wide range of symptoms. Certain individuals with alcohol-related dementia present with damage to the frontal lobes of their brain causing disinhibition, loss of planning and executive functions, and a disregard for the consequences of their behavior. Other types of alcohol-related dementia such as Korsakoff's syndrome cause the destruction of certain areas of the brain, where changes in memory, primarily a loss of short-term memory, are the main symptom. Most presentations of alcohol dementia are somewhere along the spectrum between a global dementia and Korsakoff's psychosis, and may include symptoms of both. Individuals affected by alcohol-related dementia may develop memory problems, language impairment, and an inability to perform complex motor tasks such as getting dressed. Heavy alcohol abuse also damages the nerves in arms and legs, i.e. peripheral neuropathy, as well as the cerebellum that controls coordination thereby leading to the development of cerebellar ataxia. These patients frequently have problems with sensation in their extremities and may demonstrate unsteadiness on their feet. Alcohol-related dementia can produce a variety of psychiatric problems including psychosis, depression, anxiety, and personality changes. Patients with alcoholic dementia often develop apathy, related to frontal lobe damage, that may mimic depression. People with alcoholism are more likely to become depressed than people without alcoholism, and it may be difficult to differentiate between depression and alcohol dementia. Alcohol has a direct effect on brain cells in the front part of the brain, resulting in poor judgment, difficulty making decisions, and lack of insight. Long-time alcohol abuse can often lead to poor nutrition problems causing parts of the brain to be damaged by vitamin deficiencies. These problems could also cause personality changes in some people. Pathophysiology The signs and symptoms of alcohol-related dementia are essentially the same as the symptoms present in other types of dementia, making alcohol-related dementia difficult to diagnose. There are very few qualitative differences between alcohol dementia and Alzheimer's disease and it is therefore difficult to distinguish between the two. Some of these warning signs may include memory loss, difficulty performing familiar tasks, poor or impaired judgment and problems with language. However the biggest indicator is friends or family members reporting changes in personality. A simple test for intellectual function, 
like the Folstein Mini Mental Status Examination, is the minimum screen for dementia. The test requires 15-20 minutes to administer and is available in mental health centers. Diagnosis Diagnosing alcohol-related dementia can be difficult due to the wide range of symptoms and a lack of specific brain pathology. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders is a guide to aid doctors in diagnosing a range of psychiatric disorders, and may be helpful in diagnosing dementia. The existence of alcohol-related dementia is widely acknowledged but not often used as a diagnosis, due to a lack of widely accepted, non-subjective diagnostic criteria, more research is needed. Criteria for Alcohol-Induced Persistent Dementia in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders include the following. There are problems with DSM diagnostic criteria, however. Firstly, they are vague and subjective. Furthermore, the criteria for diagnosis of dementia were inspired by the clinical presentation of Alzheimer's disease and are poorly adapted to the diagnosis of other dementias. This has led to efforts to develop better diagnostic models. Diagnostic Criteria Oslin proposed alternative clinical diagnostic criteria which were validated. The criteria include a clinical diagnosis of dementia at least 60 days after last exposure to alcohol, significant alcohol use for more than five years, and significant alcohol use occurring within three years of the initial onset of cognitive deficits. Oslin proposed the new and refined diagnostic criteria for alcohol-related dementia because he hoped that the redefined classification system would bring more awareness and clarity to the relationship between alcohol use and dementia. Treatment Oslin's proposed classification of ARD Epidemiology at the current time there are no acceptable criteria to definitively define alcohol-related dementia. If the symptoms of alcohol dementia are caught early enough, the effects may be reversed. The person must stop drinking and start on a healthy diet, replacing the lost vitamins, including, but not limited to, thiamine. Recovery is more easily achievable for women than men but in all cases it is necessary that they have the support of family and friends and abstain from alcohol. Notable Sufferers The onset of alcohol dementia can occur as early as age 30, although it is far more common that the dementia will reveal itself anywhere from age 50 to age 70. The onset and the severity of this type of dementia is directly correlated to the amount of alcohol that a person consumes over his or her lifetime. Epidemiological studies show an association between long-term alcohol intoxication and dementia. Alcohol can damage the brain directly as a neurotoxin, or it can damage it indirectly by causing malnutrition, primarily a loss of thiamine. Alcohol abuse is common in older persons, and alcohol-related dementia is underdiagnosed. A discredited French study claimed that moderate alcohol consumption protected against dementia, whereas higher rates of consumption have conclusively been shown to increase the chances of getting it. According to her family, the socialite Leonore Lemon spent the last few years of her life with alcohol dementia, before dying in 1989. The Australian entertainer and king of comedy Graham Kennedy was suffering from alcohol-related dementia at time of his death in 2005. Definite alcohol-related dementia Probable alcohol-related dementia